A table is basically a box that has a bunch of other boxes within it called cells. And all those cells within that box is called a table. And tables are typically used to organize text, data, or images. So here, I want to insert a table to help me organize and keep track of the number of houses sold by the senior sales associates. And in the first cell, or in this column of cells, I'm going to have the name of my salespersons. And in the adjacent set of cells, or column of cells, will be from the months of January and its cells, followed by February and March. So to insert my table, just come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Tables group, and before I click on the Table button, make sure you're mindful of where the cursor's flashing, because wherever it's at, that's where it's going to dump the table into. And I don't want to dump it in front or before the title of the table. I want to put the table after the title here. So click below it, come up here, click on Table, and there you go. Just go ahead and choose how many cells you want in your table. You could have a one by one table, one cell, that still makes up a table. Or you can go down and over, and you'll notice that it highlights in orange, and you can see a preview of it within the document. And so what you see is a three by five table, three columns by five rows. But I'm going to do a four by one, so one row by four columns. Click on the last cell there, and there we go. Cursor's flashing in the first cell, so let me go ahead and type in my labels for my table with my associates. And to get to the next cell, of course, you can use the mouse to click in the next cell, or you can use the arrow keys, left or right, or you can use the tab key, tab. And to go backwards, if you over-tabbed, hold down the shift key, then hit tab to go back. And then we can finish here. This will be for Jan, Feb, and Mar. Now when you get to the end of a row, and you're like, oh, I need another row, just go ahead and hit the tab key, and voila, it adds another row for us. Fabulous. And then we can go ahead and add our data below the labels that we entered into row one. Like for associates, the first one is Bob Jones. Welcome, Bob. Hit the tab key and the number of houses he sold in January, February, and March. And now notice that when I'm within the table or the cursor's flashing in the table, it brings up its corresponding related contextual design and layout tabs wherein where I click outside of it, they disappear because Word says, okay, you're not working with the table, so you don't need the tools for the table. But if you are working with the table, then click inside the table so it can bring up its related contextual tabs, the table tools. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.